Awesome. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm on a pottery adventure. Some of you may be aware of what pottery is. Um, basically, you may have seen uh, people have like a big wheel, they chuck a ball of clay on it and they mould it into various shapes and objects, right? I've always been quite interested in that never had a go. I watched a TV program this year called The Great Pottery Throwdown, which is essentially like The Great British Bake Off, but a pottery version. Um, so I got interested in that, and one of the, the, the hosts and the judges on that show is Keith Brimer-Jones. Uh, now, Keith is one of the leading pottery experts in the UK. So what I did is I got on internet, got in touch with Keith, and um, basically, he's agreed to give me a pottery lesson. So that's where I'm on my way to today. I'm on my way to Kent to uh, meet Keith at his studio. And Keith's going to give me a little pottery lesson. And I'm going to try and make myself a cup. I'm going to make my very own cup out of clay with my hands. So I hope you enjoy my little pottery vlog. Off to Kent we go. Okay, so we are in Keith's studio, and Keith is gonna do some examples, show me what I'm, I'm meant to be making, um, and then I'll give it a little go myself. Right. Wheel, hands, play. Straight on the wheel. Right. Pretty firm and in the in, in, in the middle as much as possible. That bit oh, I think I'll be all right. Yeah. <laughs> now the thing the thing you have to remember with with throwing is that um, that you 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 want to have your hands you want to have your hands on something that's solid always. So I always rest my hands on the wheel tray and my arms on the wheel tray. And when you're centering, obviously the thing people do is that they go around with the clay and it's like, oh my god, you know, before you know it, it's like that. Yeah. So imagine there's like a pillar, a central pillar in the middle of the wheel, and you're just literally just pushing towards the centre of the wheel. And then it just centres up. Okay? Now this this acts like a rod. You know, this doesn't bend with hopefully it doesn't. If it yeah. does it will hurt. So this you act this goes straight into your body and you just use your body weight just to push it. Place it on there and just get rid of the slurry. Again, people forget the wheel's going round, so your hands don't have to. You need pressing down to make sure you, you swallow up all that extra extra moisture in there and the water. And there's your perfect well, kind of, perfect cylinder. If I were to cut that in half. That's what you're going for. A nice, perfect, nice cross section. Nice even sides. A nice sort of thick base. So, so when you come to turn, turn a base and a foot ring in it, all the sides are nice and even. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Right. Hold with a bit of clay. Just straight down? Straight down. Nice. Plenty right. of water. Both hands? Yeah. Spin the wheel, mega fast. Pop on. <laughs> <laughs> right. Rest just, your arm. Yeah, that's it. That's it. And then just, just gently... Look, watch this. Oh, it's like ghosts. No, no, keep it there. My love, my darling. 
get that in there first. Yeah, get it. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Do you need that? Doing that right there. Apply the pressure and then you just gently take it away. And that's what people don't realise, that's where the control is. Get your fingers, yeah. right, put that together. See, they're, worth, they're always working together, they're always t t yin and yang and all that. So, plenty of water. Fine, and then just left. All these other fingers, they're there, but they're just acting as feelers. into the corner. Right. Just here. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Just look at what you're doing. So you want to do the bit now which is the collaring in. So get your hands like a crab. You've got good hands actually. <laughs> <laughs> They're a good sort of muscly sort of hands. Right. Right, get right over. <laughs> Throwing like loads, what would happen is that knuckle would actually wear right down yeah. to the skin, to the wall bone. So, control. So, so it, it's, the, it's this bit, it's this bit, but it's the Popeye muscle that we use a lot of. It's, mm. it's, it's that. That gets really large. Wow. Nice one. Well, for my first go, that's all right. I was I was expecting the classic wobble, the throwing around of the, the clay, but I may, I, you may <laughs> just very well see me in series three. <laughs> the wheel or is that no no I no. saw a lot of people doing that on the show go is that wrong go and do that no. right, right. Okay. wire it through towards you yeah keep it right down on the base that's it plenty of water right now wire it through again and the water will go between you the, the pot and the wheel that's it right step away from the wire right yeah now don't do that just the tips, because if you think about it, the strongest part of the of the of the pot is the base. Right. So just with the tips of your fingers, just push it. There you go. Okay. Yeah, start. Push it and just just take it to you. Take it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Right. Just and when you put it put it down, place it down. Don't plonk it down. Place it down. Just. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. So I meant to do that. That's yeah. the spout. That's. Nice. Uh... Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> Jesus would have drunk <laughs> quite probably, similar to this, probably okay? would have done. Right. Nice. Go on, yeah, I'll show you now. <laughs> okay, let me let me step back for the way.
Oh, that will hold liquid. <laughs> <laughs> you won't die first. <laughs> <No. laughs> Base of that, I just took that off. The base of it is so heavy. <laughs> no, that's okay. I'm gonna keep that by the side of the bed in case it's a rain. The murder weapon. <laughs> so uh, this is uh, Keith's attempt. This is my, uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is my goblet. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed that. Cool. It's actually been. It's really been enjoyable. This to is watch the sort it. of piece though that you would put in a kill. Everyone will kill you because it explodes. <laughs> <laughs> How was that? It was pretty good. I think I did all right. I'm going to be able to drink some liquid out of the cup, so I'm going home with a cup. Have what? some cereal in it. I can, I can have. You know what? It is more like a bowl in <laughs> it. I mean, I wasn't even gonna. I did this. There's handle pulling techniques and all this sort of stuff. We just, we just. It's amateur at this point, but I'm, I'm super chuffed with how that went. That's, uh, for as long first as it holds point. liquid. As long as it holds liquid and doesn't explode in the kiln, <laughs> then I've done what I come to do. Right? Win. Guys, thank you so much for joining me on my pottery adventure, and thank you so much to you, Keith. Do, do you see a, a career in pottery for me, maybe, in the well, future? <laughs> you were getting it. You were actually getting it. So it's uh, brilliant. Yeah, you were actually getting the feel, and I could see that you are getting the control. It was good to see. So there you go, I have, I have pottery skills. Uh, I believe Keith has uh, actually been very nice and given us some of his uh, cup range. So although I did come in adventure for trying to make my own cup, we will be leaving with some actual uh, pottery, which is fantastic, I appreciate that. And uh, thank you so much for your time. Great. Guys, if you would like to check out more of Keith's work, there is a link in the description below. Uh, go check it out, it's all really amazing stuff, lots to choose from, uh, but until next time, Lots of love, peace out, see you soon.